Guillermo d'Otranto Aventia, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. Songs of your exploits are spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. It is a pity it will not last longer. Before we duel, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. Am I not allowed to pick my means of defense? Ha! Huh. Aside from the fact that your mage fire may put me at a disadvantage, I am the wounded party in this duel. Tradition dictates that I select our weapons. Of course, if you fear you might be clumsy with such a refined instrument, there is no shame in a forfeit. Not on your life. Then let us begin. An admirable start, Inquisitor. Perhaps House Trevelyan isn't the obscure backwater I've heard it to be. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here, exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. You won't so much as touch her. Neither will you, Inquisitor, unless you... Stop! Josephine. Lady Montillier. What a pleasure to... What are you doing? Josephine, I can't take the chance that you might have to marry him. That's not your decision. The Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you threw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? Because I love you. You... You do? He does? I mean every word. I love you too. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. The Atrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. I can't imagine a better ending. But wouldn't you be impressed by a dueling scar? My dearest lord, I love you precisely the way you are. Just do kiss me again. <laughs> <laughs> 